the grind of the wheels against the concrete, the clink of the trucks against the coping, the sharp pop of the wooden board. These are the melodies of the common skateboard. These are the ways of the border. But why do we skate? What do we get out of learning a certain trick? What do we feel as we fly down a hill? Just why do we skate? To determine different skaters, you will need to discover their skating history. Why they skated, how long, their style, music, fashion, and their lifestyles. With these views, we can find out just why we skate. When you skateboard, you roll, ride, and rip. Skating started in the early 60s with the invention of sidewalk surfing, a fun to do hobby whilst off the waves. Moves were simple and the board was flat with clay wheels. The 1970s moved the scene with polyurethane wheels, concaved boards and brand new tricks. The 80s and 90s were the pioneer of the sport, with brand new designs of boards and equipment. Parks were developed and mass marketing products boomed. But somewhere along the line, we all picked up a board and began to ride. Right, I basically grew up in Cape Town, South Africa, um, and I was born like with a skateboard. It seems I can't really remember not having a skateboard. Um, I used to have one of those little red plastic ones to start with when I was like three or four. I used to just skate down my drive. I started skating when I was is either eleven or twelve, and I was on holiday in Florida with my family and I started noticing like there were loads of kids just like skating about and it looked really really fun and just like I liked what they were doing. I started skating when I was seven or eight and my mum and dad gave me a fishtail board for Christmas once and um, yeah it was a really old fishtail old school board and I used to skate in South Africa in my back garden and like one or twice my dad would empty the pool and so I would skate in the pool but like I wouldn't know what I was doing. And I just like skate down the street with my friends. Started from what I can remember, 14, sort of. I lived on a very sort of closed sort of cul-de-sac and one kid gets a skateboard, you know, the, the whole whole street does. And yeah, it sort of grew from there, really. Um, about three years and because my brother's flatmate got me into it by showing me how to skate. It's just something better to do instead of like basic riding your bike. I've been skating about 10 years now. And I started because my best mate got a skateboard from America and came back with it after his holiday. He started riding about us. His older brother lent me his old board, his old Santa Cruz deck. And I just jumped on that. As soon as I jumped on, I knew I had balance on it. And uh, it just went from there, really. Just I probably started skating when I was about sort of 12 or 13. I guess I started probably, probably my friend when I was, when I was back in year 7. Used to used to have a skateboard. Used to think it was pretty good. Just go down the hill. And... As soon as we found out skating, image was one of the most biggest things for a skater. He had to look the part. He had to show his fashion sense. He had to stick out and say to the world, "I am a skater." I guess at first I was probably wearing more like hoodies and big skater jeans. And it was like the white high top trainers and stuff like that and you know, it wasn't so much baggy then. It was funny because we were in the baggy trousers and the combats and stuff. I was wearing the jeans, I was wearing the hoodies. The jeans are really ripped jeans with the chain. I just wore baggy clothes when I was younger and then got my moe when I was 14. Because uh, we're all sort of metal heads so it's all like tight jeans and like high tabs and yeah. yeah. And I sort of probably moved on to more of a guess sort of punk style and stuff. It wasn't a conscious decision but the way it went. <laughs> but uh, yeah it, it was about sort of 17, 18 it just started getting baggier and sort of everything come a bit more better fit you know and then looser and looser and looser. I had the shirt with the t-shirt hanging underneath like the grungy look like Nirvana. So far everything seems to be getting a little uh, slimmer. slimmer, tighter fit t-shirts. I, I pick up t-shirts that I wore back then and I'm like holy shit this is way too big. All my punk t-shirts that I got at gigs the necks are like this big. They were hanging off me. 
when I got a bit older, I started wearing hoodies and from baggy, baggy clothes, got a bit skinnier and skinnier and now I wear like one or two t-shirts, so. Everyone was individual and different, but like, it gradually became, everyone became the same. So like, even without that conscious thing, you start getting tight fit t-shirts, jeans, it's like shrinking, mm. just, to, and now it's kind of like normal fit. want now and everything has come down a bit. Fashion said a lot about you as a skater but your style told more of you as an individual. Style was the main purpose. You were recognized by others. Style made you the skater you became. Well, we started off like just hopping up and down curbs so it's just street skating you know tarmac literally. The first one I started it used to be kind of like parks and stuff like that. Well, it started off a street style, then it went to sort of surf style, like Dogtown Z-Boys, and then it went to mini ramp style. My style is just my style. Like, I don't, I don't copy anyone, I don't want to do what anyone else does. I'd call my style street because I love skate anything random on the street. You just look at something and think, I want to skate that. I mean, it, it used to be street because that's what was available, and now it's kind of like these parks have come up. Started like doing stuff like trying to grind and like multi school like historic car parks and stuff like that. It's not purpose built, it wasn't put there for us. But you think, oh, well, what, what can I do on that? So I just go off and try whatever I can try. I mean, recently I've been doing a lot of uh, park riding and bowls and concrete bowls, and it's uh, a lot easier to skate and have a, a, a better time with people. Uh, there's only one, only one person I do like thinks a really good individual is Mike Valley, and like I like his old school style and how he uses the board. Like he doesn't just do all these flip tricks and what the kids all want to do now and stuff. He just does what he wants, and that's what I like to do. Just do what I feel. <laughs> 